Hi folks, this is a review for what I believe is the world's best seat swivel for a van. Uh, this is a passenger seat swivel for a Chevy Express or GMC Savannah. It comes from Iron Cloud Metalworks. Uh, to start with, I'm John Collins. I'm just a guy that expects things to work as they should, be well built, get good customer service when it's needed. It's hard to find these days with so much poor quality and planned obso uh, obsolescence and just terrible customer service out there. But I will say Derek Wolfson, who's the owner at Iron Cloud Metalworks in Salem, Oregon, uh, he has been very accessible, very prompt, and very helpful in answering the questions I had before and after I bought this swivel. So customer service has been excellent. As for the swivel and why I call this the world's best seat swivel for a van, I will show you. Uh, for starters, it's heavy. It's 28 pounds, so it came very well protected uh, in its packaging. Aesthetically, it is absolutely beautiful. It is a work of art. Uh, as for the build quality, it is the best I have seen in metal fabrication. Uh, it's made in the USA out of 3 16 steel, uh, and that is versus the uh, original base in my van, which is 330 seconds. So this is twice as thick as the original base. Uh, it is rock solid. It is bulletproof. Uh, the joints, they are not just welded. And I don't know if you can see this, but the joints are actually let in and welded. Uh, so uh, they're cut in. Uh, it's like a fine woodworking joint. And... Uh, Beyond that, the indents, which you can see here uh, for when you swivel, right there, the indents are perfect. They are like uh, a perfectly fitting puzzle piece, all right? The, uh, the bearing in this, it is a big, beautiful, heavy-duty sealed bearing. Uh, all these bolts are hardened steel, okay? I have got to mention the directions as well. I, I downloaded them and printed them. Uh, we've all gotten directions that are poor to start with, uh, poorly translated, terrible or insufficient pictures or explanations. It is frustrating. Uh, these directions are the polar opposite. For a fairly simple project that you could likely do without the directions, you get 18 pages of clear, very detailed instructions and explanations, a ton of pictures. There are uh, over 60 pictures total. They are the best. So. That's the build quality. It is beautiful. It, it's excellent. Uh, as for function, uh, this, let's put it back, I'm going to clamp it onto my table so it's stable. All right. This is the front of the swivel. So as if you're standing in front of the van, uh, looking at the passenger seat. Uh, the driver's seat would be over here to the right. Uh, you release this lever over here. The seat turns 360 degrees and it locks into those perfect indents every 90 degrees and plus it can be turned slightly left or slightly right uh, when facing backwards. You can also have it in any position you want um, if you don't lock it into those indents. Okay. When you've turned it 180 degrees, and now you're facing uh, the back of the van, facing backwards, you wind up three inches to left of center. Now, I expect that was done to make turning easier or maybe even to make turning possible. Uh, but from where you are in the front, the seat is here, and then when we turn it around, 180 degrees so that you're facing the back you can see we're over three inches towards the center of the van let's see there's also a lock on the front let me turn it back around there is a lock here on the front once it's in position you tighten this threaded bolt down to firmly lock the seat in place Probably good for travel, 
Uh, but this spring is so strong and solid, and the indents are so tight and so perfect. I, I don't see myself needing it, but we'll see. But when it is locked, you can no longer uh, release it from that indent uh, rock solid. As for the height, uh, I looked at a lot of swivels, and every one I found was installed in between uh, the original seat and the original base. So that would usually add an inch and a half of space, more or less, to the seat height. And that may work for you, but I'm six foot six, so losing that headroom uh, just wouldn't work for me. Uh, this seat swivel is also a base, okay? So uh, it keeps, uh, Derek made this so that it keeps the same height as the original factory base with the seat on it. So you don't lose any headroom with this seat swivel, which is fantastic, particularly for me. Uh, price. This is expensive, in my opinion, but worth it. Uh, I paid $409 for this, plus $48 shipping it to Maine. Uh, that was in December of 2022. I also got $10 back for mentioning that I saw uh, his post in one of the Chevy forums, and I know he also has some sales sometimes. Uh, this swivel is so well made, I expect it to last a very long time. And since uh, Chevy and GMC vans changed their design very little over the years, you could remove this and take it with you to your next van, or you could resell it uh, when the time comes. Just save the original base. Uh, for example, this particular swivel fits all Chevy Express and GMC Savannas from 1996 to 2022 so that's that's a lot of years so my thoughts on this swivel it is absolutely the highest quality build with excellent instructions from a very responsive hands-on owner Derek at Iron Cloud Metalworks I highly recommend it and this is not a paid promotion of any kind I am just a guy that was looking for a swivel for my van so I could travel with my wife later this year I will do another video of the final installation once it's in, and I'll show you the rest of the van as well, uh, which is right behind me. I'm a finished carpenter, so I have made a really cool queen-size convertible bed that turns into a giant lounge chair and also into a smaller sofa. Thank you for watching, and God bless.